Dr. Ian Hu. And I'm Dr. Rafi Royan, and we're here at the University of California, San Diego. Worms that live inside of your intestine. Not a pretty picture, is it? But unfortunately, that's the reality for over 2 billion people in the world today and hundreds of millions of children. In children, these intestinal worms, known as hookworms, whipworms, and ascaris, cause the kids to grow up physically stunted and mentally retarded. As such, because they infect kids that live in poor countries, these worms play a big role in keeping generation after generation trapped in poverty. So how do we deal with these today? Well, we have two classes of compounds we can use to treat for intestinal roundworms. Unfortunately, neither class is totally effective, and even more disturbingly, there's more and more reports of the parasite showing resistance to both classes. So clearly, we need a different approach, and we think that approach is actually drug combinations, just like we use drug combinations to treat HIV AIDS. So in this study that we just published in the Proceedings for the National Academy of Sciences, we took two different new worm drug classes. One are called crystal proteins made by a natural soil bacterium that we've recently showed is an excellent anti-worm drug. The second is called tribendimine. This was developed by the Chinese Centers for Disease Control and Prevention to treat human intestinal roundworms. What we found was really interesting. If you took worms and allowed them to mutate to resistance to either one, say tribendimine, and then fed them crystal protein, those tribendimine resistant worms were actually more than twice as sensitive to crystal protein as normal worms were. Conversely, worms that were resistant to crystal protein were up to five times more sensitive to tribendimine than normal worms were. So this is great for us, bad for the worms, because if you combine those two together now, it's very difficult for the worms to become resistant to them. The other thing we found is that when you actually combine the drugs together, is they're actually synergistic. That is to say, it, and together, they actually are more potent than individually they would be. That means that you actually need less of each drug, four to ten times less of each drug, to get the same effect when you combine them than if you use them individually. So that means it's cheaper to treat, and also you have to worry less about side effects. So we're very excited about this combination. It's the first optimal type of combination developed to treat intestinal roundworms, and we're hoping, with the right resources, to be able to take this one day into human clinical trials. Thanks for watching.